Hey fellow crypto enthusiast, welcome to today's quick trend analysis. Let's get started. In today's video you will find out how the price of IOTA has changed and what the technical indicators SMA, Stochastic RSI and MACD are showing. If you are not familiar with the indicators, check out the explanation videos down below in the description. Looking at the IOTA hourly time frame, the price moved quickly to the downside with around 7.5% in the last 24 hours, with a current price of 1.04. On the other hand, this move wasn't very strong because the volume wasn't very high. Moving to the hourly simple moving averages, for this time interval, the current price is below all of the simple moving averages, which looks bearish and you should keep an eye on the closest SMA. The 20 SMA will play as resistance or the price will peak above the current price which is around 1.05. However, the shorter time frames are not very accurate and the bigger time intervals like the daily should also be considered for longer price development. Moving to the hourly stochastic RSI, the stochastic RSI currently shows no overbought or oversold conditions, but we can see that the trend is currently going down because the K line is below the D line. Looking at the hourly MACD, seeing as the MACD line is above the signal line, meaning that the trend is currently on the up. But according to the MACD histogram, we can see that the momentum is going down. Owing to this we can expect the price to remain stable and you should wait and see if the MACD line will cross the signal line, which will be a downward trend. Jumping to the three hourly simple moving averages, for this time interval, the current price is below all of the simple moving averages, which looks bearish and you should keep an eye on the closest SMA, the 50 SMA will play as resistance or the price will peak above the current price which is around 1.06. Jumping to the three hourly stochastic RSI, the stochastic RSI currently shows no overbought or oversold conditions, but the percent %K line is over the percent %D line, which means the current trend is to the upside. Moving to the 3 hourly MACD, the trend is currently going down because the MACD line is below the signal line. But it's expected for the price to remain the same for some time because the MACD histogram shows that the momentum at the moment is shifting upwards. You should wait and see if the MACD line will cross the signal line, which will be bullish. Looking at the daily simple moving averages, the price only dipped above the 20 SMA to the upside, but then came down again but it's not a very strong signal that the volume hasn't been very high. At the moment, the price is between the 200 and the 20 SMA. If the price bounces off the 200 SMA which is currently at 1.03 it could be seen as a support and the 20 SMA that is at 1.53 could be perceived as a resistance to the upside. If there were to be a break either way, it means that there could be a continuous move in that direction. Pointedly, the current price is above the 200 SMA, which is perceived as a strong support. Nevertheless, if there were to be a decisive downward dip, it will signal a possible big move down. Jumping to the daily stochastic RSI, the stochastic RSI currently shows no overbought or oversold conditions, but we can see that the trend is currently going down because the K line is below the D line. Looking at the daily MACD, the trend is currently going down because the MACD line is below the signal line. But it's expected for the price to remain the same for some time because the MACD histogram shows that the momentum at the moment is shifting upwards. You should wait and see if the MACD line will cross the signal line, which will be bullish. In general, the larger time frames have a greater impact on the price, so please remember that when we display different time frames with different indicators. And also the shorter time frames are only representative for the short term trading. Thanks for watching. New videos are uploaded every few hours analyzing various cryptocurrencies, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. If there is something that you didn't understand, leave us a comment below and we'll get back to you. You should know that trading with cryptocurrencies is very risky and these videos are only an overview of what happens with the price and a pure technical analysis without considering the fundamentals. So you should read more and make your own investing decisions. See you next time. I'm, I'm.